thank you. Um, Mr. Ambassador, Mr. Weinans, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Josephine Bertrams and I'm SVP. It's, it's a whole mouthful, as we say in Dutch, Chief Corporate Affairs Officer for Heineken USA. And even though it says the Heineken Award, we don't have any Heinekens here at the moment, to my regret. But that has to do with the fact that we're not allowed to serve any Heinekens yet. But tonight, there will be definitely some. Um, I feel priv privileged to represent Heineken today and witness the Heineken Award to be presented to Mr. Weinands. Privileged because I moved to the US only three months ago. I moved from Amsterdam, from Heineken global headquarters to the US to pursue my own American dream and to live and work in the US. And that thanks to one man only, Alfred Heineken, or as we know him, Freddie. The same man today's Heineken Award is named after. In the lead up to today's ceremony, I wanted to get a better understanding of what Freddie Heineken experienced in the US. As a Heineken employee, you learn about the stories about Freddie who got to know the marketing and advertising principles in the US and brought them to the Netherlands to sell and market our beers. We all know the stories about how he made very trendy couples go into bars in New York and ask for Heinekens, even though he knew that they didn't sell any Heinekens. But the days after, a silver representative will go to, the, to that bar and ask for any uh, whether he could sell the bar owner some Heinekens, and they all said, yes, please. But I have a passion for history, and I wanted to know more. So I did some digging, and with the help of our collection manager, I digged into the Heineken archives, and I found letters from Freddie Heineken, written to his boss at the time, Ben Ter Haar, written in 1947 and 48. On his typewriter, he wrote, his experiences in the US. And what I learned, Heineken's American dream didn't happen overnight. It showed the story of a young and eager businessman who experienced dilemmas and setbacks of setting up a business abroad. From frustrations about poor quality beer after weeks of shipments overseas, issues with immigration, terrible packaging, challenges with distribution and partners, and a strong competition from Budweiser. Some things will probably never change. <laughs> and obviously the need to do things differently to raise the brand's profile. And I quote Mr. Heineken in one of his letters, and this, apologies, is in Dutch. Ik ben er aan het heilig van overtuigd dat met een beetje meer reclame de verkopen aanmerkelijk vooruit zouden gaan. Je kan nu eenmaal niet tegen de stroom van Amerikaanse reclame opgroeien als je zelfs niet eens een bootje hebt. Basically, he was saying, we have to be in it to win it, and we're basically, we're not in it. The letters of Freddie told me the story of an American dream that required perseverance, flexibility, resilience, and an endless passion and drive for the company and both countries, and with always putting people and relationships first. And with result. Heineken entered the US market in the 1930s after prohibition, and by the end of the 1960s, the US was Heineken's largest export market. I rest my case. Which brings me back to the Heineken Award. With the Heineken Award, we honor the accomplishments and achievements of entrepreneurs and companies. With permission, I'd like to make a suggestion to add another dimension to the Heineken Award. It should not only honor those who have made a positive contribution and a substantial contribution to Dutch and US economic relationships, but it should also honor the perseverance and passion required to achieve it. So when I'm looking at, when I would add this dimension to today's recipient of the award, and looking at ACON's presence and track record here in the US, I'm not too worried that Mr. Reynolds would leave this room today empty-handed. Because I'm sure that if someone like me would go into the Aegon archives to look into probably emails and WhatsApp messages, would see the same and would equally be inspired by his journey as much as I've been inspired by Freddy's. 
On behalf of Heineken USA and Heineken Totale, congratulations to Mr. Reinhardt and Egon from America. And thanks to everyone for joining today. Cheers.